to Einstein Mechanics. Today we are going to solve the problems under equilibrium in two dimensions. So let's start solving these examples and you have to pay attention so that you get whatever we are trying to deliver. Okay, so example one. Two crates, each of mass 350 kilograms are placed as shown in the bed of a 1,400 kg pickup truck. Determine the reactions at each of the two A, rear wheels A, B, the front wheels B. All right, so this is a car and it is loaded with some crates. They have masses and the mass of the truck is also given. We are to determine the reactions that are going to take place at the two wheels, the back one and the front wheel. So let's start solving the questions so what we can do now is to list down our parameters first and we have the mass of the crate let's say mc is what 350 kg we have the weight remember we need weight as a force to make our calculations therefore mass times what acceleration due to gravity will give us the weight so what is the weight of the crate that will be 350 by the gravity 9.81 and we are going to see that the weight of each crate is going to be 343.5 newton all right what about the weight of the truck it is Place as shown in the bed of a 1,400 kg pickup truck. So, mass of truck empty is 1,400 kg. What about the weight? So, the weight is going to give us the weight of the truck is going to be 1,004 by 9.81 and we are going to get a weight of 1374 newtons so this is the weight of the truck we now have this can we first draw the free body diagram of the truck so that we can know the reactions how to represent the weight and everything remember the steps in drawing the free body diagram so this car, we have to get its free body diagram. So we can get something like this to represent the car. So I'm drawing the free body diagram. Just as the car is. Okay, so. These are the views. All right, so this represents the free body diagram of the track. And this is, we are seeing the front view. So we can now represent our external forces. This is G, meaning the weight of the car acts here, the center of gravity. And it is somewhere here. Remember, the weight always acts down as the force. So that will be the weight of the track. Okay, so we have some masses here the first one being in the box d and the second one being in the box c and they also have weight coming down so this is weight of what create there's another weight of what create over here all right the dimensions how do we go by it Let's look at the reaction. This is a ruler. The wheels, they are rolling on the ground. And how do we represent the reaction for a ruler? It is an upward what? force. So there is a reaction at A. And there is a reaction at what? B2 at B. But remember, the wheels at the back, they are two. Just that we see the front view. The other one is hidden over there. There are two wheels, remember? Determine the reaction. Each of the two 
wheels, meaning the wheels at A is 2 or 2. So we are going to get 2A. The front wheels are also what 2. So 2B. Are we good? All right. So let's look at our dimensions. From C to D, we have a dimension of 1.7 meters. And from D to the end of the track, we have a dimension of 2.8. From B, here we also have 0 0.75. I'm taking my time to explain to you so that we get everything. So from this to that is 1.2. And from A to that is 1.8. They are all in meters. All right, so this is the free body diagram and it carries max for getting this half of the work is almost done so now we are to remember we know the weight of the track we know the weight of the crate now we only have two unknowns that's what a and b the reactions how do we solve them so with this we can start to take moment we can take moment let's i want to find a first so i'll take moment at b at b so that i can know my a so taking moment summation of what moment at a remember when you are dealing with equilibrium summation of forces on the x is zero summation of forces on the y is equal to zero and moment about any point is also equal to zero now i will take my direction any force going there moment about b first any force going the clockwise direction will be what? Positive for me. So let's start. I'm taking the moment here at B. And remember, the place you take moment, any force over there is not counted because, or any force that passes through the moment center is what zero because the distance between the force and the moment point it will be zero. Are we good? All right, because look at the 2B and I'm taking the moment also at B. What is the distance between this point B and this force? Zero. There's no distance, meaning the force times the distance zero will make the moment zero. Are we good? So let's start it. Moment at B. So this force will count, this will count, this will count, and that will count. And any force that goes in the clockwise direction about the point I've chosen will be positive. Any force that will go anti-clockwise direction about the point I've chosen will be negative. So let's start. So I'll first start with my first create. Remember, moment is the force times what? The perpendicular distance. So this one first, WC, the first create at C. So the force, what is the force here, which is also the weight? And the weight of the crate is 3, 4, 3, 3.5. What is the distance? The distance between that 2B, remember, from here to this is 1.7. And from this place to that is 2.8. But I'm taking the moment about B, not at the end. So at B, I will subtract, remember, 1.7 and the 2.8. It's not the actual distance. I have to subtract this 0 0.75 from this total distance so that I'll get 3.75 here. So this C is a distance of 3.75 from the point B this way. From the point B, 3.75. So the width, which is negative, because looking at this for it is going the anti-clockwise direction about this point. It is going downwards this way. Uh, have you seen? So I also choose a clockwise sense to be positive. So this will be negative. So negative 3, 4, 3.5 times the distance of 3.75 for the first force. What about the second one? I have WC, which is a D, is also going anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction and it will be negative as well so negative 
the same thing, the width is 34, 33.5 times what is the distance between WC at D and the moment point? From here to that place is 2.8. And when you subtract 0 0.75 from it, at this point, you are going to get 2.05. So 2.05. So I'm done with these two. What about the 2A? This is the 2A. It is going a clockwise direction about the point B. Can you see that? It will move this way in that sense. And it will obey this sense or this direction so positive what is the force the magnitude 2a and what is the direction or the distance between this and that three are we good because from a to that is 1.8 and from the g to the b is 1.2 so 1.8 and 1.2 about the moment point will be 3. So 2a times 3. One more. There is this w. So you take into account all the remaining forces. That's for the moment. Are we good? That's why I'm taking my time to take it one after the other. Wt. So what's the direction? It's also going the negative sense because it does not obey my clockwise direction chosen. You can choose that all the anti-clockwise one will be positive and you can see that this one will come negative. So WT will be a negative one. What is the force? That's the weight. One, three, seven, three, four. One, three, seven, three, four. Times the distance between that and that, which is 1.2. 1.2 should all be zero. So this is it, the moment should all be zero so i can now make 2a or the a my subject here i'll take all the negative to the right hand side of the equation for this it is just mathematics so you can work out for a so i'm getting 2a by 3 will be 6a so 6a would give me 3 6 Yeah, after solving all this and taking them to the other side, you're going to get 36394.3. And A will give me 6065.7. And it is approximately, you can run it, or in kilo, A will be 6.07 kilo. Newton. So the reaction at wheel A is 6.07 kilonewton each. So this A, the first wheel, will be 6. Point, will experience a reaction of 6.07. The other one will also represent or experience a reaction of 6.07. Are we good? Let's look at what happens at B. So now I have gotten rid of the A. It's left with only one word unknown, so I can use summation of forces to get the other unknown. Remember, there were two, so I have to get two equations to get rid of them. So now you can still take moment at A to find B, but to make it simple, I now know A. So I'll sum forces, summation of forces on the Y should also be with zero. Are we good? This is just summation of forces. So I have a 2A force. So I have a 2A force. And what is A? A is 6065.7 as the first force plus another force, 2B. The upward forces will be positive. I have 2B. What again? The downward forces. I have WT. And what is WT? It is downward, so negative 137.34 minus the weight coming down of the create. They are also coming down. They are 2. So I can say 2 times what? What's the weight of the create? 3433.5. 3433.5. 
they are all summing up to zero. There we go. So I'll make B the subject. So 2B now will give me 8469.5. And B will be 4 point or 4234.8 newtons. And B can be 4.234 kilo newtons. And we are done. So at the view A, the reaction there is 6. 0 0.07 kilonewton at fuel B, the reaction is 4.234 kilonewton. So you have to get your free body diagram, indicate the relevant forces, take moment about a fixed point. Then, after getting one unknown, you can now use the summation of forces on the Y to also get the other unknown. Let's move on to the example two. So, example two. It's also quite interesting here. So let's look at how best we can solve the example two and get our correct answers. So at 3,200 Newton forklift track is used to lift 1,700 Newton creates. Determine the reaction at each of the two a front wheels and B the rear wheels at B is the same thing as the example one so that you understand it very well but different dimensions and different arrangement this is quite simple so we have this track the weight is already given they didn't give it in mass they already gave the force that's the weight as 3200 and 1700 Newton so let's first get the free body diagram. So with this, I can draw my free body diagram. That way, this is the create. I can get so this represent the track, and I'll get my view here, something like that. All right, so this is my track. I have to indicate the relevant forces. So the create has a G, a downward width. So, and I'll get it here. As what? It is giving us, it is to lift 1,700 create, and this is the create, 1,700 Newton. All right, and the G, we have the width of the, track or the fork lifter itself as 3200 newtons here we have a reaction it is also a ruler the fuse they are ruling so a ruler has a one upward force this is a since the fuse they are two at the front we are going to get two a they are two at the back two B. Are we good? Let's look at the dimensions. The distance between this and that is 16 inch. Remember, so once the dimension they are in inches, this force they are supposed to be in what the pounds or the pound uh, units. So we can assume they are in the pound what unit, the IB. All right. If they are in newtons, we have to get what meters here, or we can assume this to be in meters. So 16 what meters. And the distance between this and that will be 24 meters. Change the unit to what meters because the force is in newton. Supposing it was to be in the pound, the ID, we can use what the inch. The unit should tell it. And the distance between that and that is 12 meters. So this is the free body diagram with the dimensions and the relevant forces. So first I have two unknowns again. Let me take a moment about one point. 
let me take a moment about B so that I can get the A. Very simple. The same thing, summation of moment about what? B is equal to zero. I'm choosing the clockwise direction to be positive. All right, so I'm choosing this moment point B, meaning this 2B will render what? Zero because it is passing through the moment point, leaving this one, two, and three forces. So first, I'll consider the 1700 force. Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? It is anti-clockwise about this point, so it will be negative. So negative 1700 by, what's the distance? So this 16 plus this 24 plus this 12, and I'm getting what? 52, 52, 52. Let's look at this 2A force. It is going in the clockwise direction about the moment point B. So it will be positive, positive 2A. What is the distance? 24 and 12, 36. The third force, the 3200 Newton force. It is also going anti clockwise and it will be negative. So, negative 3200 multiplying by the distance between it and the point 12. This should all sum towards zero. Now, I'm getting my 2a by 36. I'm making and I'll take the rest back to get 1000. It's more than thousand eight five a zero zero. Are we good? So making a the subject a will be one seven six one point one newton. Are we good? If it was to be in the pound system or to be one seven six one point one IB. If we were working in the inch, so this is the reaction A. The reaction at A is that. What about B? So I, I now know A, so I can sum forces upwards to get the remaining unknown. Summation of forces on the Y should also be zero. How many upward forces? Two as positive. How many downward forces? Two as negative. So first, I have 2A and 2B going up, so they are positive. 2A plus 2B, and I am having this force of 1,700 as coming down negative, and this to be what? Negative. Or it's to, be, to be zero, but I know A. So I can say 2B now, I'm making that the subject as negative 2, 1, 7, 6, 1.1. This will be positive here, 1,700. This will be positive, 3, 2, 0, 0. And my B now will be 6, 8, 9 Newtons. Are we good? So this is B for me, and I can continue with that. So knowing the reaction at A and B, I have been able to solve the question. Thank you.